I'm an architect, freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> when I woke up, All right, welcome everyone to this playthrough of Blameless, an indie game that might be a puzzle adventure slash horror thingy. I hope to be able to do this in a somewhat short run, maybe one or two parts, or maybe a long one. Uh, it shouldn't be a long game, but never done this before, and I hope to also unlock all the achievements because there weren't that many. In case you can do that and we also have some uh, i'm using uh, mouse and controller and this is a steam game this blood stain does not look like it's the result of a banal injury it seems fresh the blood hasn't completely dried out yet this looks like something is being dragged across the blood stain yeah it's not good More. Okay, so question marks tells us that there's something we can do there. Uh, we can walk around, but it's kind of clunky, and you can sprint also. So yeah, it looks like we're in this under construction slash dilapidated house. Can we? Oh, hello. I might be able to get further through the attic. Ah, actually this reminds me of an actual attic I had way back, and if that's the case... Real life cheating. Ah, uh, because... I should bend the rod, but it's too tough to do by hand. Ah, okay, so I think we actually... I know what to do there, but we need for more tools. Okay, I guess not. Okay, let's drop it here. Have this as the tool area, so, sort of. Nokai? Where does a Nokia? Oh, wait. Yeah, that... That's Bonus blood. Smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime soon. Okay, so that could be the murder... Or the possible murder victim's phone. Got sort of a wire thing here. Let's see if this works. 
Leverage. Ah, awesome. Awesome indeed. Oh, here we got something. Progress. Okay. So C is crouch as per usual. We got some bricks. Can we get out of this door? No. I can't get further through here. There's no door handle. Why would he hit me and then lock me in here? These are all good questions. Okay. I think... We might have what we need. Oh yeah, reverse. So as you can see on the screen, left and right mouse is do or undo action buttons, basically. Let's see if this works. It is uh, a little dark, isn't it? Roach time. What the hell was that? Uh, it sounded like something was dragged, which there probably probably isn't amazing. Okay, down we go. We got a wallet. Lightwater Public Library. The library card belonging to Helen Woodward. How did it get here? Do we want to know? I'm not so sure we do. Because it probably was sinister. Little sinister. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the same door, so no door handle there. Hey, we have a bricklayer's thingy, I think. Can we jump? But yeah, not on top of it, though. It's holding with the wires. It's holding with the wires. Yeah, we want to get out of there. It's holding with the wires. Shit, that's not going to happen. Can we... We cannot... It is kind of dark in here, but I don't think there's any... thing... hidden? Okay, I see... potential. Not in this box, though. Okay, so we need to get through that door, and I see two things in here that could make it work. We have a crowbar, and we have a bolt cutter. Bolt cutter time! The wire cutters are broken. The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. Okay. Okay. It's stuck underneath the beam. It's stuck underneath the beam. Hey, what's this? Oh, I know what this is. Can we use that as a bolt? We got an achievement. Tools Master. Fix the broken pair of wire cutters. Well, aside from that being a little finicky, 
it worked. Can we get it down with this? No. I do want to have it. Hmm. Can we prod it? Oh, I see. Very nice. Okay. Do we need both of these to get out of here? Or did we have two different ways to solve this puzzle? I'm not sure. Try with the crowbar first. Okay, so maybe we needed that for one thing and this we need for okay, can I go out now? Okay, so you can't hold anything and actually, yeah. oh man, it's very dark in here. Well, no way going back through here. I don't even want to go back. Okay, so we are very much stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing we are at some point breaking into that fuse box or electrical box or whatever it is, but not now. Now we are. Oh, wait. The dragging stain again. Yeah. Um, it's a weird little thing. What was that? Oh, it's the same. It's the same. I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Better. Much better. Okay. Why did I have a... Okay. Q. 
can go outside again. Nothing much here, though. Okay, let's start with the indoors and then go outside. Not entirely sure what that is. Guess random building materials. Don't touch exposed wires. Uh-oh. I think that's the body. Cause that yeah. What the hell? Yeah, there's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Except this dead person who could be Helen. For all we know. Shit. She's... She's dead. That she is. Ah, yeesh. It's the address of this house. Was she invited here too? She might have been. Are those car keys or keys to something else? They're, they do not look like car keys. It's dust. I don't want to look at her face. Similar to what I found upstairs on the floor. She was being dragged over here through the house. That she was. I gotta get out of here and call for help. Any more question or inspection thingies? No. Up. Uh, unless. No, I think we're good. There's nothing more to look at here either. Uh, yeah, and we did that. So we have two more things. Do we need batteries? Oh, it actually does work. We're just holding it down towards the floor for some reason. Okay, we cannot open that. Yeah, that's um, it's a bad way to go, all things considered. Now, we made sure that I don't think we can do anything here. Yeah, I think we are good to head out. Finally out of the house. Sure, but are we safe though? My guess is on not at all. Yeah, we already know this. Thank you, Gabe. We got a little canister. Locked. Locked. All right. No cement. No door handle.
Okay, we can go in there, but we could also... This is a big house. We could also maybe go in here? Somewhere? I'm not sure you can pick things up when you're holding the flashlight. They're a little vague on that. But I think we could make our way in here. Dropping them stones. Nice. July 2001. Subject. Final reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin, this is to inform you that, according to our records, as of 12 July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the Deirdre Construction Stores on 7 June of this year. Please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon receiving this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing this matter to a collection company, which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties incurred by such action will be your sole responsibility. Note. You will not receive any more reminder letters from us. Yours sincerely, Anna Catwell, Account Manager, Dare Drew Constructions Limited. So that gave us some information, but man, that reading was very, very slow indeed. All right. Is there anything else we can do in here? Hmm. That's weird. I thought we could do... This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. Ah, uh, we can do... Yeah, that's that one. I think we're... Done. Okay. dark rooms. Now slightly ominous. I don't think we can get get back there. Can we? No. We can do nothing there either. Why 
is everything always locked? Very good question. Why is everything always locked? Take the keys back. Okay. That goes past that. Um. I just realized, did we look at everything here? Locked. Yoink. This is the way out. Can we get some more power there? Bit of a saw. And um, where do we want to use this? Okay, maybe I am a bit confused here, but we could potentially leave already. But we do have this, and I remember... where where was it? Um... Oh boy. Yeah, here it is. Could we repair this? Oh, we got an achievement. Climb up scaffolding. I'm starting to think that this game has like many ways to do things because if we jump down here, I think we are outside. And if we open up the garage, we're probably also outside. And um, we also had or what it looked like anyway. More stuff to do in here. Anything useful here? Hey, investigator, investigate at least four facts. What's this? What's this? Very very good question. Ah, I believe this thing can open fuse boxes. Now we're talking. That's it. Okay, we have some fuse boxes. Another crowbar and another hammer.
Okay, so we did... Oh, yeah, we... The memory... <laughs> it's good but short. Yeah, this is definitely... Honey, if the circuit trips again, first turn on the RCD switch, the smallest one, and then the rest of them, the orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click after you turn the RCD on. It may take a couple of seconds, otherwise it will trip again. I need to take a look at this before we hand the keys over to the new owner. All right. Smallest. RCD 240. Test monthly. This switch looks important. Test. These are already on. R R R R C. Why can't you do anything with this? Test monthly. This switch looks important. Oh wait, what's this? The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. Achievement reader. Uh, I think we did four something. Okay. Progress, but yeah. Yeah, we have power. Shit, no power. Oh, the did... electric must have tripped for the whole garage. Okay, so that's... Hmm. Got there too early. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the old. Okay. They stole our flashlight. I'm not touching this anymore. Oh, did I just get like electro electrocuted? I thought someone smacked me from behind. Maybe I didn't. Okay. I think power's back on though. So, which way should we try? Should we do the garage again? Or the ladder? Um, uh, I mean... Yeah, let's go with the garage because... We spent a lot of time... Fixing this. Something's loading. Jesus! Oh no! Let's get out! Okay, we're back here. Hopefully, this time. Jesus! Get away from me! Run! There he is! This is Light Water Police. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Get down on your knees. But I didn't do anything. Get on your knees, now! You are under arrest. This is what happened. 
He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. That's how it all began for me, and it was far from over. Thank you all for watching Blameless. That was actually the very end of the game. We got all the achievements. I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons, and if I saw you again in future videos. But for now, it is time to say bye-bye.